Hey guys, this is my uh, top five favorite 80s movies, and number five, I'm gonna have to go with Lean On Me. Now this movie is about Morgan Freeman's character, who's a, uh, they call him in to this school, who's, you know, it's like a real rundown school, everybody's, you know, doing bad, nobody cares what's going on, it's just a bad school in general, and supposedly Morgan Freeman's a hard ass guy who they get to act as the principal and you know he they, they have him there and he turns things around and you know he does all this stuff for the school and it's, it's a real up, uplifting movie I like those type of movies but this is just you know it's a classic you know it's a classic movie I mean anything with Morgan Freeman is a good movie to me so and it has lean on me I love that song I, I mean not the old school version but I kind of like the new one that's in the end of this movie, that 80s, it's got a whole 80s vibe to the updated Lean On Me song, it's really good, I would check it out, and this kid in the front, okay, I can't remember his name in the movie, but I don't know, he was just really funny to me, all around, but yeah, all around, good uplifting movie, check it out. Four, I'm gonna have to go with The Monster Squad. I love this movie. I used to watch this movie as a little kid all the time. Me and my brother used to just, you know, hang around and just watch this for good times. And for a long time, I had it recorded on VHS from TV, and it was like really shitty quality with like commercials and all that bullshit. But for, I remember I was waiting forever to come out on DVD, and finally it came out, I believe, I think last year. And as soon as I found out, I had to pick up a copy. I mean, this is a classic. Basically, you know, these kids, they have like this little monster club that, you know, they talk about monsters and all this shit, and then on Halloween, you know, all the monsters come come alive, and he forms this monster squad that goes out and tries to kill all of them. Really good movie. I mean, people would say this is like a, a second-rate Goonies, but no, it's not. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to say I like this is better than the Goonies, but I personally liked it better than, than the Goonies. And, you know, it all depends on preference, but I really enjoy this movie. It has some really good songs. There's this one song that, you know, I, th I think it's Rock Until You Drop, Dance Until Your Feet Fall, what, whatever, that song is the shit. And if I can find it, I'm going to download that song, but it's really good. It's just a good, you know, kid's type of goon adventure goonie movie really good and i'm kind of pissed because i bought it the day it came out it was like 15 bucks and i said to myself wow that's a really good deal now you can pretty much go to walmart or bj's and get it for like seven bucks which pisses me off but that's what happens when you can't wait so but in the end check it out it's a two disc it has a i think uh like a five part retrospective and you know, they, they show you some of the kids what you know what they're doing now and stuff, so it's it's cool. Check it out. Next is an all-time classic, whether just a classic movie in general. And it's Fast Times at Ridge Mall Hunt. Now I have an obsession with malls. I love malls for some reason. It's just I'm a big mall guy. And this pretty much this whole movie takes place in a mall. So if you're a mall lover, you'll love it really funny I mean there's so many people in this movie that went on to do so much bigger stuff like of course there's Sean Penn and then there's no, you know now that we think of it now I'm holding it I can't oh Nicolas Cage was in it Anthony Edwards Judge Reinhold Phoebe Cates the infamous Phoebe Cates but uh it's a really good you know I would some people call it a stoner movie but it's just, it's just a good, really funny movie, and it holds up. Let me tell you, I watched this, I, I think, like two months ago, and it's, even though it's an 80s movie, it, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't stick as an 80s movie, you know, it, it, it goes past the 80s, it's really good. If that made any sense, whatever, but I would definitely check this out. It's on sale everywhere, so, actually, fun fact, I actually had a band that I named my band after this movie. 
or we did, I should say, not my band, but the band that I was in, we all named it after this movie, so fun fact, check it out. Number two, which is an obscure movie, I don't know if many people saw this movie, but this movie is called Three O'Clock High. Now, this is a movie that I used to watch all the time as a kid, and it never came on TV, so I was like, as soon as it comes out on DVD, I'm getting it. And when it did, I got it. And basically, it's about this kid who, he, he runs a school store, he's like a basic nerd, whatever, and there's a kid who's, who's infamous, you know, he transfers from, his, from school and there's all these stories running around that he beat up his principal, he, you know, the most ridiculous things were being said about him. And he was sent to interview him and apparently he touched him and the guy doesn't like being touched. So he throws him against the wall and pretty much roughs him up a little bit and says they're gonna have a fight. So basically the whole movie is this guy trying to get out of the fight, which is at three o'clock, hence three o'clock high. But it's it's an all around hilarious eighties movie. I can't remember if there's any really popular eighties songs, but either way it's really fun, really good eighties movie. Nobody really big was in this movie. And I don't think anybody big came out of this movie, but it's a cool movie. I think I think anybody who liked The Breakfast Club or any of the movies in the 80s would love this movie. I would really recommend checking this out. Number one favorite 80 movie, and I think it came out in the 80s. It might have came out maybe 1990, but I think it came out in the late 80s. But either way, I'm going with it, and it's Can't Buy Me Love. I am obsessed with this movie. And you look, it even has McDreamy from, you know, Grey's Anatomy. This is when he was cool, though. Now he just kind of looks, you know, all study. But and I, I like when he was, like, awkward looking. Like how he does here. And, uh, basically, he's like a nerd. And his na he's in love with his next door neighbor. And, you know, he tries to talk to her, but he never gets, you know, they never hang out or anything. And... She gets in. She gets in a awkward bind, and he comes to the rescue, and, he, and they make a deal where I guess she she ruins her mom's outfit, and he goes and pays for it in exchange. He has to hang around with her, and you know they pretend like they're dating, and whatnot, and then he becomes popular, and you know all this happens, and then I'm not gonna give the rest away, but basically it's another uplifting movie. It has like a really amazing speech at the end that. I'm not going to say I cry, but it, it's touching. It moves me a little bit. But it's it's my... F I, don't, I wouldn't even say it's one of my favorite movies ever. Not just 80s, but it's one of my favorite movies ever. And I remember they came out with a, a remake with Nick Cannon, and that was alright. I'm not going to say it sucked, but it was no Can't Buy Me Love. Definitely, I'm going to say one of the best speeches at the end of the movie ever. In any movie. I don't know, it's just a good 80s teen movie. And, uh... Fun fact, Gerardo, who sings Rico, suave. Wow, that was cheesy. But um, he's in it. He makes a little... He plays one of the football guys. Fun fact. But um, check this movie out. Now that he's bigger, seeing how he's on Grey's Anatomy, now you could probably find this movie everywhere. So I would definitely recommend picking this. My favorite movie. And two honorable mentions, I'm just going to throw out there, I'm not going to talk about them that much, I'm just going to mention them, is Weird Science, which has a little small movie cameo, a mall cameo, I should say. If you like malls, it's a cool looking 80s mall. And um, Breakfast Club, everybody's seen this movie, everybody loves this movie, it's their favorite movie. It's not my favorite, but it's really good regardless. So anyways, thanks for watching this video, I hope everybody enjoyed it. And, um, talk to you guys later.